and we'll start off with a big F chord. Well, when I was a boy down in Mississippi, every summer I'd take a trip and visit my granny and her auntie, Bella Moore. I'd run barefooted all day long, climb a tree as free as a song, and one day I happened to catch myself a squirrel. Well, I jumped it down in an old shoebox, punched a couple of holes in the top, and when Sunday come, I snuck him into church. Well, I was sitting way back in the very last few, just uh, showing him to my best buddy you, when that squirrel got loose and went totally berserk. What happened next? Hard to tell, some thought it was heaven, others thought it was hell, but the fact that something was among us was plain to see. As the choir sang, I surrender all, the squirrel run up Harv Newman's coveralls, and Harv jumped to his feet and cried, Something's got a hold on me. Now, the day the squirrel went berserk, in the first self righteous church. In this sleepy little town of Pascagoula, Pascagoula. It was a fight for survival that broke down in the Bible. They were jumping pews and shouting, Hallelujah! Now, Harv hit the aisles, dancing and screaming. Some thought he had religion, others thought he had a demon, and Harv thought he had a weed eater loose in his fruit of the loop. As he fell to his knees to bleed and beg, the squirrel ran out of his. To the other side of the room. All the way down to the Amen view, where said sister Bertha, better than you, who'd been watching all the commotion with sadistic glee. I bet she should have seen the look in her eyes when that squirrel jumped her garters and crossed her thighs, and she sprang to her feet, crying, Lord, have mercy on me! <laughs> well, as the squirrel made laps inside of her dress, she began to cry and then to confess the sins that would make a sailor blush with shame. She spoke of gossip and church dissension, but the thing that got the most attention is when she talked about her love life. And she started names and names a day. A squirrel went to church in the first self-righteous church in that sleepy little town of Pascagoula. Pascagoula. It was a fight for survival. It broke out in revival. They were jumping pews and shouting, Hallelujah! Now, seven deacons and a pastor got saved, and twenty-five thousand dollars got raised, and fifty volunteers for missions in the Congo on the spot. And uh, even without an invitation, there's at least five hundred rededications, and we all got rebaptized, whether we needed it or not. Now you've heard those Bible stories, I guess, of how he parted the waters for Moses to pass all the miracles God has wrought in this old world. Uh, but the one I'll remember till the dying day is how he put that church back on the narrow way with a half crazed Mississippi squirt. The day the squirrel went berserk in the first self righteous church, the next sleepy little town of Pasadena.